All right, it is a new day. And before this new day, a few days before the new day, we had a Steam client update. Um, and this, I'm trying something different here. This is my Toby eye tracker. So I'm, <laughs> we'll, we'll see if it drives you crazy, but it, uh, there's a reason for it. You'll, you'll find out. But anyways, uh, we actually have a lot of Steam input updates here. So let's go. I wanted to hop into this screen just so you can see it all before I go into a game, because I'm not going to go over all of this, but yeah, they, they made quite a few changes. The main thing that I am focused on is we have this new hotbar menu for joystick, d-pad, and face buttons. Pressing down will input, well, we'll go over that, and we have gyro support for touch menus. I think that's also radial menus. Those are the two big things that I want to test. But, you know, I really just wanted to show this screen just if you're not, if you don't follow the updates as often as I do, which I know a decent amount of you don't, it might behoove you to read this, read, read this update, especially if you're using a non-Steam controller. Because they did quite a bit. Oh, look at that. We got improved CPU usage. Hey, hey. That's good. Support for more than four Xbox controllers. That's almost like a meme joke at this point. They've been trying to do that. I, feel, I think literally for years they've been trying to support more than four Xbox controllers. Added support for PS5 controller player. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, don't care. I have a Steam controller. So what I wanted to do is hop into Arma 3, which is always kind of my go-to playground. And that brings us to the, OB the Toby Eye Tracker too. I wanted to test that because I haven't really played that game with the eye tracking, head tracking. But yeah, let's hop in and see what we can, what we can figure out with these two new input options. We are in Arma. Ooh, ooh boy. That is, that's 100% just my eyes. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to make a copy here so we don't have to worry about screwing anything up. I never even finished this slight overhaul tweak. Jeez. That's that's been a work in progress for a year. I get I ugh, I was just talking about this in my Discord. I get I get scatterbrained. I lose attention and I move on to other little games. Okay. Let's try um Let's go to a mode shift. Let's try with A button. So now we got hotbar menu. Let's go. Let's just go four buttons. We will go one, two, uh, I think B is binoculars. Yeah, let's just do these three for now. So I have, while I'm holding A, do one, two, three. When the menu scrolls to the end of the binding, it can wrap around or stop. Let's do on. <laughs> Let's just see what the icons look like. I'm assuming it's just going to look the same. Oh, no, no. Wait. One is... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. 
two is the pistol. Okay, let's just see how that works. So, we hold A. It is, okay, down. Down to pull it up, toggle it. Left and right now, if I let go of A, yeah, because it's a mode shift, okay. So down to do it. No, it doesn't go on select, so down. Up to select it, okay. So down, up. Okay, that works. That's cool. Uh, what else can we do with it? So, display. Okay, dismiss act after activation. Uh, let's go no. Recenter off. So then it would be on the last thing you selected. So let's test that. Hold A, down. In the middle, up. Stays there, hide it. Up, it's on two. Up, let it go. Pull it up, it's back on two. Hmm. Well, that might be because I just don't have enough here. I do, I like the... I like how, it, I like that it's a row though. I wonder... Like I knew this was in beta, but I hadn't really messed with it very much. So let's, we'll just, we're just stacking it up some. Okay. Can I change? Uh, dismiss after activation. Well, let's, yeah, I'm, I'm just curious if it's. How does it behave? Like a hold? So we go A, down. Well, that's not, we can't even, can't even see it all. Let's make it a little smaller. Dead zone. Okay, that's that's probably just for the stick. <sighs> let's move it over. And let's just see what that looks like. Hold A down. Okay, so it's a hold. So now, just to test the features here, let's see. Does it register behavior changes to these buttons? Let's make this a toggle. I let go, okay, yeah, so it's toggling. Stays toggled as long as I'm holding this A button because the A button is the mode shift. Then when I let go of A, 
it comes out. So toggle works. What about... Okay, regular press is Q, long press is E. Let's see if that works. Q. No, it's not. It's not firing that cue at all. It's just doing the E. Okay, so you can't. Doesn't seem like it is working for multiple activators. Let's try that. Let's push that more. So regular press will be Q. Double press is E. Down to pull it up. Q. No. Can't get it to do the E. Let's try a start press. Nothing. Now see, that's the kind of thing... I just... I wish they tested that more, and then if it doesn't work as an option, just only let me select regular press. Because you're making me think that I could do multiple things, but I really can't. Sorry, right, we'll try one more. We'll go regular press, Q. Uh... Corded press. Let's walk to the right when we are holding the trigger. Left trigger, soft pull. Okay. Q. No, corded press isn't working either. So let's just verify. Yeah, that was on the cue. Cord on a left trigger soft pull. No, it didn't work. Well, just for the hell of it, let's see if A button is the mode shift. Just see what that does. So I'm holding A. Huh, all right, so that's working. Well, that might just be... Ooh, that could be a couple. That could be because I have this hotbar under a mode shift. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> no. I, I wanted this to be just a quick little... A real quick little overview. Oh, but now I'm going to get stuck diving into it. What else could I try? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Left pad touch. Oh, wait, how the hell am I going to do that? I'm running out of fingers. We'll try right pad touch. I'll do claw grip. Okay, down. Q. Ugh, claw grip. Ugh. Hey, look at that. It's working. Oh, that feels awful. Just the claw grip on <laughs> my, my index finger. Okay, so corded press does work. That could just be the... um. That has kind of been a slight bug from time to time with trigger mode shift, trigger corded presses. So we'll we'll let that one slide. So you can do corded presses. Doesn't appear that you can do start press, long press, you know, the other activators. I like that though. That's that's a cool little extra feature. So all right. <laughs> that that is enough of that. Holy cannoli. Let's um Let's go into uh, We'll do the same thing while holding A. Q. 
Okay, so it is not a radial menu. It's just a touch menu. That's interesting. One, two, binocular, lean, lean, forward. Mode shift is A button. Touch release, mode shift end. Let's tr well, we'll leave it there. I'll do the uh, claw grip again just so we can make sure. So yes, it's gyro. Right pad is mouse. That feels weird just because it's... Uh, it's going against years of muscle memory that gyro is the camera look. Okay, so that is a release. Got uh, one. That, that feels, that feels pretty, pretty good. Let's try always, just to verify. Because actually what I was thinking is that could be a directional swipe. Like a, that could give you a better directional. Like, okay, follow me, follow with me. What I'm thinking is we have Q empty. Then you would have a little gyro huh, over here, a gyro. Huh. One and two would be the same thing. So up and down. That's my first thought. Just because that gyro swipe has a limitation that it feels pretty bad for the horizontal for left and right so this would be you know like keep q empty actually yeah i mean we're in it we're committed this is going to be a long rambly video okay so q q is empty just 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 for testing purposes we're gonna make w and w okay so yeah, nothing happens. If I just do a little flick, that could actually feel really nice to enable a tilt. You just kinda, I mean, you can barely even see my little gyro. But just something that would be like, bam, hit it, immediately get out of that layer. Uh, I don't know, I'd have to play around with it. It's just happened to be keeping it on the... Yeah, yeah, so any <laughs> anyways, that's, that's a little unfocused. But yeah, just thinking of it, that it could work pretty well for as a stand-in for the gyro directional swipes and for some gyro tilting where you wouldn't have to roll the controller but okay just to be thorough if that is always on so we have a long press be backwards let's just see what happens there I think that is working, but we want to go, let's make this a toggle. Now try long press. Okay, so that is working with activators. Simple, simple, long. Oh, nice. What was the other test I should do? I should see if it works. As a quartered press, we will do right pad touch. Let's turn that toggle off. 
Okay. Just going forward, I do... Ugh! I do claw grip. Ugh. Yeah, it's working with quarter press. Nice! So, okay. <laughs> I think... That, uh, I apologize. This ended up being way longer than I wanted. I wanted to just do a brief little thing. But nothing with Steam Input is just pick up and do it. You gotta really dig in there and see. You just have to test everything out. And that is actually one of the big reasons why I always hop into Arma in the editor. Because it just lets me... I, you know, I can spend all day just testing out different controls. That feels pretty honking good. I'm almost thinking like left trigger. Oh man, left trigger full pull. How I was doing gyro swipe up to reload. You do a full pull. You tilt yaw to the right a little bit. Oh. And then it would, it could toggle. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I? All right, touch menu, always. Additional options. Touch menu. Well, what? Uh, let. Okay. Before I get, let's try that. So we have a right pad touch to enable it, which is independent of the. Mode shift button. Menu activation. Menu activation. Touch menu. Enable. What? Is that just a mistake? Wouldn't that be the same? Let's see what happens before I'm, I'm getting just way distracted. Okay, it's not showing up. There, okay, right pad touch. All right, so anyways, what, what I was just thinking was, was there an option to make it uh, roll? Like how in the mouse you can switch like this. Just if you really wanted it to be like a, a tilt, but that does not appear to be. If you could though, that would be a really nice little Full pull, extra things for first person shooters. Full pull, flick up, reload, flick down, bipod or something, tilt. Quick little roll to the left to lean, roll to the right to lean. So as it is right now, it can't. Just leave that always on. You can't control the gyro, which, I mean, I get why that's not an option. That would never really be something. Let's crank this all the way up. That wouldn't normally be something that you're probably considering. Doesn't really feel that much different. Yeah. Anywho. So, all right, that's <laughs> that's what we got. New new Steam client. We got those. Oh wait, I should make. Well, we can just change where it is, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Because that's pretty interesting. So I can stack them. So we got both of them up at the, s <laughs> the same time. Whoa! Oh boy. Switch to my gun. Oh, 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 oh. Switch to this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, 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 wait, wait, no. Switch to that. I mean, that, that is, that could open up some pretty crazy things. But yeah, any, anywho, sorry, <laughs> I apologize. This is what happens when I don't make a video for a long time. You, like, you, people think that I ramble, maybe intentionally, or like, it's a joke, or I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just an idiot. Well, I mean, that. Uh, I guess the jury's out on that one. I probably am, a little bit of that. But no, I mean, this is just, that's, that's who I am. And it's way worse if I don't try to rein myself in. 
like or even right now I'm like a I'm like a dog chasing some I'm like distracted wanted to start talking about the Toby thing wanting to start thinking about some different ideas for the touch menu I honestly have no idea if I even covered what I wanted to cover that whole thing was just like a stream of consciousness did I talk about I'm pretty sure I went over it all Huh. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs. <laughs> 